Do you want to stop the universalists who are in cahoots with the globalists, the cultural Marxists, and the social communists from winning the culture war? Then take action today! Every super chat will help fight the battle in the never-ending culture war against those who want to take over our entertainment. That's why you need to like, subscribe, send thanks, and super chat. Make a random 42. Do you want the universalists to win? Of course you don't. So donate today. Ah! Articles like this are why nobody cares about being called histophobic anymore. Hello everyone, I am Mecca. Do you think your kid might be an ist? Who gives a crap anymore? We're tired of being called names and we're tired of... I got the wrong end of the writing crop, the B. I am a consumer advocate here on YouTube and a funny one at that. You're going to bookmark my channel. Yeah, you are. And you're going to hit that little subscribe button and the thumbs up. And if you have the money to, you're going to help donate to keep this channel afloat while I deal with f funeral expenses, basically. That's where we're at right now. So I'm in a mood and I think we're going to take it out. On these people who think that everything is istinphobic. First up. First up. This is the most recent one, I think. Here's what you should know about baby wearing and cultural appropriation. Wear your kid however you think is going to be the safest and most comfortable for you. Because it's up to you. Don't let these idiots who write these crapping articles tell us anything anymore. Because they aren't, frankly, they aren't smart enough. To pay attention to. I think my partner's reason for suddenly wanting children might be istophobic. <laughs> really? 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 We originally agreed not to have children, but now he's saying our genes are too smart not to pass on. Well, not yours if you think things are istophobic in this day and age, like reproducing when you happen to be what? Pale? Pasty? Look a little like me, look like you need to get out in the sun. Yeah, actually I do. I play quite a lot of Pokemon Go. Friend me or stump or not, I don't care. If you want my code, I'll probably plast it somewhere. This, this. You're not smart enough if you think everything's istophobic. You know why? Because you're not smart enough to understand how bad other countries actually are. We've got the Eternals sitting there being banned from most countries because there's a couple of guys who kiss in it or something, right? Or who are in a relationship in how many countries? A lot of them in the Middle East? Yeah, so, you know, the, a lot of these practices that we're free to enjoy here, here for now, anyway. Help support the channel and trigger everyone by buying a Let's Go Brandon t-shirt, complete with pride flag to trigger everybody. Available now on the Mega Merch Store are not so readily available in other parts of the world, and neither are people like you, lady wham in person, having the ability to choose whether or not you want to have a child. Oh no, there are parts of the world where you wouldn't even be allowed to make that decision. Oh, here we go. Karen Feeding, dear Karen Feeding, when my partner and I met several years ago, he agreed with me that we would be irresponsible to have children given the state of the world, particularly with respect to climate change. <laughs> Why? Why? Are they farting into the atmosphere like cows? When cows fart and burp and splatter. Uh, what? Like, oh. Well, an anal laughing matter. Are, are you billionaires jetting around to private resorts? They're releasing methane every time they do. Getting rubbed are you are you one of these Hollywood elite types who go around preaching about believe all women until you know they don't and they just use that as an excuse to go and get a massage somewhere in a luxury resort. That are, are you are you oh no, you're not smart enough, sweetheart. You don't have to worry. Maybe you shouldn't breed just to keep the dumb out of the gene pool. Okay? Cause we don't need people. Who, who really think everything is istinfo- Oh, it's racist and climate change and maybe <laughs> Uh-huh. Don't breathe, yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't no laughing matter. You probably shouldn't anyway. What else does-
they them say it's probably a they them person isn't it just probably oh and I hate being mean because seriously please be happy people just be crappy happy okay people have expenses and things and you know what you you should be so goddamn lucky lady wham in person here with several of our friends have had babies recently something I don't approve of, but whatever, it feels like he's starting to change his mind. You know why? We're predisposed genetically to evolve to procreate. That's why we find each other attractive. That's why we're so obsessed with who and what and, and the, them and its or who or what are doing. Especially the giggity-wise. That's why everybody's obsessed with doing the giggity. Watching the giggity. Looking at other people do the giggity. Doing it themselves in front of other people. Having other people watch them do the all, all of the giggity. That is why. That is what we're, we're designed to do on a genetic level. It is the same thing as eating. It is the same sort of drives that we have. It's on our little lizard brains in the back of our skulls somewhere where it says, Hmm, food. Hmm, shelter. Want warm. Hmm, want do giggity with other thing. That's how we are. We're apes. People, we're apes. <sighs> I like monkeys. I like lemurs, too. What am I talking about? Oh, don't breed, lady person, wham and things. Several of our friends have babies. Frankly, I thought he was too lightened to believe such things. I'm currently staying with a friend while I try to, to decide what to do. Don't breed with this person. Please do not put your genes into any gene pool at all. We don't need you. It's okay. You know what? He, he'll, he'll divorce you and find somebody who's, I don't know, a little more mature and a little less selfish. And a little, you know... But then again, you might just have a racist kid, right? Do you think your kid might be a racist? What should you do? Don't freak out! Oh, I would love to freak out, cause... <laughs> well, it ain't no laughing matter. <laughs> oh, those horrible istophobe children! I don't like Adam because he has this color of skin. Can we replace it? I don't want to say that. Here, let's just replace it. I don't like Adam because he has white skin. When Erin Devine heard my four-year-old son Ewan utter those words about her classmate, she was mortified. Her first thought was, My child's a racist! Oh! 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 Won't somebody please think of the children? She wondered what could have sparked such a garbage. Though Devine and her family are Caucasian, they live in multi multicultural Toronto. And Ewan had been in daycare with kids of various backgrounds for years. Race was never an issue, or so Devine... Thought. Is it Devine? Is it De Devin? Who cares? <laughs> After that accident, we were sitting around talking about people, and you and asked, Do they have white skin or black skin? We said, It doesn't matter. We're all the same. Not, not if you're a sports ball player. Oh, or if you're one of those oppressed millionaires that we keep hearing about. You know, like the guys who sell sneakers and they get down on their knees and complain about how tough they have it. Making millions! Yeah, I had to pay a lot rent. I had to pay. Oh, we got two back electric bills just so we can, you know, sell my mom's place. Not to mention other. I'm I'm going on a tangent, but you know what? I think it's relevant to these people. Who cares anymore if your kid's an ister or foe? Because you know what? We hear more anti-white shit lately than we do any of this other stuff. So here's the thing cry and you know just don't have any if you're one of these people who is overly concerned about the color of people's skin and whether or not you're gonna offend people you know just, just it's best to just not participate in society if you're gonna be one of these people I am Mecca and I have some editing and packing and cleaning and streaming watch my streams I stream a lot we have a Monday night show do it or else. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.